And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Matt Chapkis and Tom Kendra live from Fowler. We are at Spicer Field getting ready for this contest. The Division 8 District Championship game between the Fowler Eagles with a record of 9-1 and one and the Muskegon Catholic Central Crusaders who enter with a record of 7-3. and three. Yeah, we can't complain, really. They kind of look like the Fruitport Trojans. They do and have maybe a little, little darker blue, but uh, very reminiscent, so... Tyler Keneshek is back, and here comes the kick from Zach Campbell to start this game. Bounces at the 20, and it's picked up by an up back. Here they come, coming down the middle of the field. I believe that ball carrier was Trent George. It was, and he got up to the 33-yard line, and that is where the Eagles will start this game off on offense. So a power I formation, something we haven't seen a lot of this year against the Crusaders. This will be an interesting attack. Tyler Keneshek is their main running back, almost 1,500 yards. I think over 1,500 yards already this season. And Dustin Wirth, number seven, is their quarterback. Wirth is under center. He's got Felsposh lined up behind him and Keneshek behind there. The handoff is to Keneshek coming off the right-hand side, and he gets about two or three yards on first down. He's up to the 36. Gain of three yards, we'll call it. That'll bring up second down and seven. Well, you can see Fowler doesn't waste any time at all going to their money man, Tyler Keneshek, who rushed for almost 1,500 yards. Gain of three there. He's going to see if uh, they're able to run him right in the heart of the Crusader defense. A receiver split wide to either side. Worth is under center. Backs lined up behind him. They give it to the up back, Felsposh, and he is going absolutely nowhere as he gets stopped right at the line of scrimmage for no gain. It'll bring up third down and long for the Eagles. Well, great play by Jacob Holt. The, the big freshman defensive end uh, came down and really met the fullback right in the hole. I was just about to say, uh, Felsposh is the fullback. He has about half, a little less than half as many yards as uh, Keneshek. And sometimes they'll sneak him, but he was going nowhere there thanks to Jacob Holt. And uh, Felsposh is a big boy as well. Not quite as big as the kid we saw up at St. Francis, but uh, he packs a load. Here we go, third down. Hand off is to Keneshek. Coming off the left-hand side, he's going to have the first down and more as he gets up to the 45-yard line, running off the right-hand side. First down and 10 for the Eagles. You can see there, that's that's the whole key to this attack, is if you can get get Keneshek before he gets started. On that play right there, he was able to get ahead of steam and uh, was able to turn the corner on the Crusader defense. First down and 10, 10.30 to go here in the first quarter. The Fowler Eagles with the ball in the opening possession. Handoff is to Keneshek, and he's going to get hit in the backfield and dragged down for a loss of about a yard on the play. Maybe he got back to the line of scrimmage, but it's going to be second down and long. Good play defensively there by MCC. Yeah, great play by Nick Holt there. He, uh, he, he hit him low and chopped him down right again before he could get started. And I think that's going to be a key. You know, it looked like with third and long that they chose to run the ball. It looks like they are very uh, determined to stay on the ground. George checks out, Napoleon Watts checks in. He is another back that can get the ball. Dropping back, looking to pass is Worth. He's gonna air this one out, and that one is way long, but we got a flag down on the far sideline, about seven yards down the field, so we will wait and see. That could be anything and everything. Yeah, the flag was thrown far away from the receiver. It doesn't seem like it would be a pass interference call. We'll wait and see. Looks like an illegal receiver down the field, an ineligible man downfield for the Fowler Eagles is the call from the referee. So now the Crusaders can choose to accept or decline. It will be third down and 10 if they decline. And now the officials having a little bit more of a meeting. All four, or four of the officials in on this meeting close to the Crusaders sideline. So I'm sure Coach Holmes will be willing to help if they need it. <laughs> Again, a team that's not used to throwing the ball very much. And when they're forced, in, forced to throw the ball, sometimes those things like illegal men downfield start to happen. Yeah, on the season, oh, they're picking up the flag. So no penalty on the play. They'll bring up third down and 10. Worth through 68 times through the first 10 games. So that's about seven passes a game. Not. And, you know, that's MCC style right there. Yeah, it is. We got really two ground-oriented attacks. The difference is Fowler has the one-man one attack, pretty much, in Keneshek, where MCC uses four or five different backs. 
Three backs in the backfield, two backs lined up in front of Keneshek. Worth is under center, handoff goes to Keneshek. He's got a big hole, but he's met by Alex Lewandowski at the 47-yard line, and he stops him right there. It's going to be fourth down, and Fowler's got no choice but to punt. Yeah, there, there was a big hole there, and he broke through the line of scrimmage, but wow, was he met by Lewandowski again. We're seeing like a lot of the teams we've played at the end of the year, I don't think they're used to being hit the way they've been hit so far by MCC. Alex Lewandowski will be back to receive this punt. He's standing at his own 15-yard line. It looks like Austin Felposh will be the punter. Snap is clean. Felposh gets a nice punt off. Lewandowski is going to let it bounce, and it's going to get down at the 17-yard line by the Eagles, and that's where the Crusaders will take over. So a good job there by the MCC defense, slowing down Fowler a little bit. They converted on their first third down, but couldn't on the second. With 9.02 left in the first, MCC takes over with a scoreless game. And their first offensive possession will start, and they're going to call it the 18-yard line. Nice crowd here from of Catholic. They filled up the visiting stands. I saw Joe Perry and uh, Jim White had to come over here and sit on the home side because there's no room anymore on the visitors' bleachers. No, and that wasn't the case about 15 minutes before the game. They were staying warm in their cars getting ready for this one. Yes. Here comes Zach Campbell. He's got a T formation lined up behind him. Lewandowski off the right-hand side. He's got a little room to run. Watch out. He's across the 25, across the 30, down to the 40. Watch out. He's got one man to beat, and he gets tripped up by the shoelaces. Schmidt takes him down right at midfield, but a 32-yard, called a 34-yard run as they're going to mark him down at the Fowler 48 yard line Jacob Schmidt the safety for Fowler saved a touchdown right there you know it is hard for these opposing teams to simulate the speed of the Crusader backfield I mean it's not just Lewandowski it's Tommy Scott on that play right there you saw he just out out ran everyone to the corner Hand off to Tommy Scott coming off the left-hand side. Tommy makes a cut up the middle, and he's down to the 40-yard line. A gain of almost eight yards on first down. That'll bring up second down and short for MCC. So Tommy Scott is in there right now as opposed to Jesse Anderson early in this contest. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, Tommy's obviously a very capable back. He's second on the team in rushing touchdowns with nine this year. But uh, it's always good to have a senior like Jesse in there as well. Second down and three, just short of the 40-yard line for MCC at the Eagle 40-yard line. They send Tommy Scott in motion and his handoff right up the middle and not going very far is Lewandowski, and he got hit hard right there. Big collision, and uh, both players feeling it a little bit as Keneshek, Tyler Keneshek, was the one delivering that hit, so they, uh, they, they've evened the score now. They've each delivered a big blow on defense against the other. Yes, they have. Yeah, and with Jesse Anderson, you know, he could probably be able to start, but like you mentioned, we have so many quality backs, there's no sense to rush him back in while everyone else is running so well. Third and a yard to go for MCC. Lewandowski gets the handoff. He's got the first down and more as he's down to the 36 yard line. First down and 10 MCC. Seven and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter of this scoreless game. Just an old fashioned 26 there is that play where you fake it to the fullback and uh, give it to the uh, to the halfback off tackle. And uh, just a textbook uh, Roger Cheverini play for the first down. Crusaders spreading things out a little bit. Two receivers split wide to the right-hand side. Lewandowski still in the backfield. They send Tommy Scott in motion. They're going to pitch it to him coming off the right-hand side, looking for a hole. Tommy cuts up, but he doesn't have much room there as he goes down at the 35-yard line, a gain of one on the play. That was the, their big running back, Keneshek, who was also their... Uh one of their top tacklers uh, who came up and made the stop. It's interesting, the defense they're playing right now, they're, they're not really jamming the line. They just have four people up front, but they have their linebackers off the ball, and they're just reading and flowing. Now they're dropping back into more of a 4-3 look uh, defensively as Campbell's in the shotgun, rolling to his left. Now he's going to tuck it and keep it. Makes one cut. He's up to the 32-yard line, and he gets tackled down there. A big hit. Gain of three yards on the play. It'll bring up third down and six for MCC from the Fowler 32. I think Fowler made that adjustment. They recognized the speed in the backfield of MCC, and by uh, by moving those people off the ball a little bit, it gives them a little more, uh, a little better angles to uh, maybe chase down the speedier uh, Crusader backs. 
formation for MCC. Campbell under center. Handoff goes to Lewandowski. Off the right-hand side. He's got a big first down, and more as his burst goes inside the 25, down to the 24-yard line. Good play there again by the Crusaders. And we got a man down for Fowler right now, and they're going to call time as the Eagles training staff will run out and tend to that player. I think that is Austin Felsposh. But I am not sure. I can't really see the number. But the Crusaders get a big first down. It'll be first down and 10 from the 24-yard line. 6-11 left to go here in the first quarter. We'll take a quick break and be back with more here on Country 93.1. Ah, you just got your bell rung. You're okay. Get back in the game. Guess what? If you got your bell rung, you're probably not okay. You've probably sustained a concussion, and going back in the game just might put your life in jeopardy. Safety comes first in high school sports, and everyone should learn the signs and symptoms of concussions. Visit the MHSAA website to learn more. 